The first thing we need to do is to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and in the drop down menu you want to select system settings. Once you're inside the system settings you want to click on accessibility in the left hand side menu and then you want to find motion and tap into that. Here you see the option vehicle motion cues which you can simply toggle on from here and then you see all of the motion cues on the left hand side of your laptop screen and if I move my laptop quite aggressively you see that they are going to move as if I'm simulating being in a car. Now you can also customize these options by clicking on customize appearance and here you get different settings such as the pattern type, the color of the motion cues, and you can also choose larger dots or more dots if you'd wish to do so. So now we've changed these settings we can select done, exit out of the settings application and now we can start using our laptop just as we normally would. If you want a quicker way of toggling this setting you simply want to add it to your control center. So to do this you first want to click on the control center in the top right and when it appears you want to click on edit controls. Now you see all of the different type of controls you can add. So to add vehicle motion cues we want to scroll all the way down and you want to find vision accessibility and inside that menu you want to find vehicle motion cues and you want to drag and drop it in anywhere in the control center. So I'm going to add it to the bottom. You can also change the size of this toggle by right clicking it or control clicking it and in the context menu you can either select small, medium or you can go for large. For the example of this video I'm going to select medium. Now we've done this we're going to select done and now it's been successfully added to the control center so the next time we access it we can go ahead and toggle it on from here and we can also toggle it off if we wish to do so.